Hello and welcome to the first video on my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to get a basic VR project running on the Oculus Quest using Unreal Engine. Alright, so to get started you have to create a developer organization on the Oculus dashboard by visiting this link which is also provided in the description of this video. Here you can name your organization anything you like and click submit. Once you've created an organization, the next step is to enable developer mode on the Oculus Quest. Using the Oculus app on your phone, connect to the headset and then click on more settings, developer mode and turn it on. Okay, so you might have to reboot your headset for the changes to take place. But after enabling developer mode, if you go to settings, you'll see a section called developer. And in here it lets you disable the guardian and it tells you that the guardian is an important safety feature but you can disable it if you don't want it bothering you during development but more importantly if you go to the library you'll see a new section added here called unknown sources and this is where you'll see any apps that you've sideloaded onto the device of course right now it's empty but soon we'll have our own game here the next step is to download and install ADB drivers for the Oculus Quest. ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge, which lets us communicate with the device via the command line. You can download ADB drivers for Oculus mobile devices by going to this link, which is also available in the description. From here you can agree to the terms and download the zip file. After you download and extract the zip file, Right click on the .inf file and click on install to install the ADB drivers. Next we'll install Codeworks for Android, which is a quick and easy way to set up our computer for Android development. Navigate to the directory where you have Unreal Engine installed and select the version of the engine that you are using. Then go to Engine, Extras, Android Works and then the platform. In here you should find the exe file for Android Codeworks. I'm going to leave the installation directory to the default and click next. Codeworks will install a bunch of stuff for you and the standard installation should be fine. Accept the terms and the installation should begin. This will take quite some time if you're doing it for the first time. Okay, when it's finally complete, click finish and you'll have to restart your computer. Alright, so after you've restarted your computer, in the C drive you should have a folder called nvpack which contains things like the Android NDK, SDK and JDK folders that are needed for Android development. Now if you open the command prompt and type adb help, you should see that adb is a recognized command. And you can type adb devices to see a list of connected Android devices. At this point you can connect your Oculus Quest to the computer using a USB 3 cable and since you put it in developer mode earlier, you should see a prompt inside the headset asking you to allow USB debugging. Once you accept it, you can type ADB devices once again and your headset should show up. And now your computer and the Quest should be ready for development. So let's launch the Unreal Engine. I'm on version 4.22. I'm going to create a new blueprint project based on the VR template. For the initial project settings, I'm going to pick mobile or tablet as the target hardware. And for the quality settings, I'm going to pick scalable 3D or 2D, as well as no starter content. Let's just give a name to the project and then create the project. And once the project launches, the first thing I want to do 
is go to edit plugins and scroll down to virtual reality and make sure that the oculus vr plugin is enabled then i'm going to go into this virtual reality bp folder and into maps and open up the motion controller map this is the map that we will be using since the Oculus Quest has two six degrees of freedom motion controllers. I'm going to delete the HMD locomotion map as well as the startup map. Then I need to go to edit, project settings, go into maps and modes, and make sure that the motion controller map is set to be the editor startup map as well as the game default map. While we're in project settings, let's also go down to input, which is under the engine section. And we need to make sure that the default touch interface under the mobile section is set to none. Next, let's go to rendering. And again, under mobile, make sure that mobile HDR is turned off. And then we can scroll down to the platform section and go to Android. It says that the project is not configured for the Android platform, so let's click configure now. Here we need to set the minimum SDK version as well as the target SDK version to be 25. And the next thing is that we need to check this box that says enable full screen immersive on KitKat and above devices. And then if we scroll down to the section that's called advanced APK packaging, we can check this box that says remove oculus signature files from distribution apk we also need to check configure android manifest for deployment to oculus mobile okay then we can go into the android sdk section and here we need to specify the path to the android development directories such as the sdk ndk and jdk folders if you hover over these it says that if these fields are left blank they will fall back to some environment variables when we installed Android Codeworks earlier, it already set the correct environment variables. We can check this by right clicking on this PC, going to Properties, Advanced System Settings, and Environment Variables. Here we can see that all these environment variables are pointing to the right directories. Okay, now make sure that you have your Quest plugged into the PC and that it is recognized under ADB devices. Then if you go to launch options, here you should see your Quest show up. It has a little exclamation mark next to it because it says that Android is not listed as a target platform for this project. So go to supported platforms and select Android. And now you can go under launch options and click on quest. This should then launch the game on the oculus quest. Okay, so that took a few minutes, but now here we are. Our project is successfully running inside the oculus quest. Everything is working fine. I can look around and both the controllers are tracking well. I can click on the A button to teleport. And I can also use the thumbstick to teleport, which also lets me change which direction I will face. And I can use the trigger buttons to grab these cubes here. Keep in mind that Oculus recommends using the grip button to pick up stuff, but this is just the way the inputs are mapped in the default VR template. But yeah, everything seems to be working well. There are some small issues, like none of these blue cubes have shadows. And when I try to teleport while holding a cube, you can see that uh, it looks a bit weird where the beam overlaps with the cube. But overall, it seems to maintain a good frame rate. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll look at some ways of basic performance profiling to measure how well your app is running and check if it can sustain the 72 frames per second that is required for the Oculus Quest. So subscribe if you're interested in that and thank you for watching.